Hello, this is Nick with NickScomputerPicks.com and CoolestCheapLaptops.com. Today I'm going to give you a video on an Easy Movie Maker 2.6 tutorial. Okay, to begin with, let's go ahead and open up Windows Movie Maker and let's go ahead and import a video from my computer. I'm going to select this one here and click on Import. And it'll import the movie into Windows Movie Maker and randomly segment them into various clips. And at this point, I can drag those clips down into my storyline down on the bottom here. And this allows me to see them in sequential order in the preview screen up top on the right hand corner here. I can also go down and move these in different sequential order, any order I want, and certainly play them in the sequence that I choose. Okay, next, uh, video effects. Um, this allows me to um, add multiple video effects or single video effects to multiple frames or a single frame and preview that on the right hand side here in the preview frame. Um, the way it works is I drag and drop the effect onto a clip and then I can preview it in the preview frame. Next is the video transitions. Um, video transitions are special effects that you can put between clips or frames within your storyline you can preview that on the right hand side here and uh, you basically you drag and drop these special effects in between your clips and then you can uh, play that in the preview uh, frame here or screen and uh, watch the special effect. Okay, it's time to add some text or add a title to our movie here. We can add it at the beginning or at the end or any location we want within the movie. Let's go ahead and add it at the beginning and uh, let's type in a title here. Um, this is a great movie about movie maker out of work and uh, let's, let's add a little special effects here and we'll try this one here or this one yeah or even this one yeah, I like this one. Okay, let's um, let's move along here, and uh, we can certainly play this now and see that special effects uh, and the title. Okay, up next is the auto movie function, which helps you to quickly create a movie using the video, pictures, and music that you select by combining them based on the automatic editing style that you choose. And then it will process that information and produce a complete movie automatically for you um, so you don't have to do anything else if you choose not to. Next, let's go ahead and split a scene into two separate scenes. Let's go down to the story timeline and uh, move our guideline over to the frame or the scene that we want to split in half. And then we go up to the clip, uh, clip menu and click on split and then we can go down to uh, show the story book again and now we can see we have two separate scenes um, produced from that one segment okay now it's time to add some music we're going to import some music but first we got to go down here and go to our timeline and we'll be adding it to our audio track right there so let's go ahead and import our music and uh, we'll grab it from there 
and we'll go ahead and say import and that will bring it up here but then we need to drag it down into our timeline on our audio track and we're going to make sure it's positioned correctly and it's a little long for this particular video so let's go out here and we'll grab it and we'll actually shrink the audio file to line up in sequence with our video and we can do that by simply grabbing and dragging it until we get to our video and then we line it up at the end of the video so that now we are um, in harmony between the video and the audio okay that's how you do it okay let's go ahead and import a uh, picture or image or a photo into our uh, video here and uh, let's see let's go ahead oh I don't know let's uh, let's grab this one here and import it and then we'll grab it and drag it down into our storybook now it's part of our video and uh, certainly we can position it anywhere or in, to, uh, or in any location within the video that we want and we can also remove it by right clicking and uh, clicking on uh, delete okay here's a cool feature of windows movie maker we can take a picture of our preview uh, by going up to tools and clicking on take picture from preview um, it literally will take a picture of what we are previewing in the on the right hand side and uh, literally saves it and we can drag and drop it down into our storyline here and uh, that becomes uh, part of our video okay okay the last thing let's go ahead and save this video to our computer by clicking here and give it a unique name I'm gonna call it movie one and I'm going to take the default location uh, with this my videos folder and click next and the default settings are acceptable I'm going to go ahead and click next here and it's going to save this movie to my computer and convert it to a .wmv uh, file format and uh, once it's done I can click on finish and watch this movie that I just created um, and edited it within Movie Maker um, 2.6. Um, I can watch it um, being played within uh, Windows um, Media Player here. Okay, the end.